Hi there, my name is Cassandra and this is Alice. And today we're going to be unboxing our Moving Beyond the Page curriculum that we've ordered for Alice. Now Alice is technically in grade four this coming year, but we chose the seven to nine, which they have listed as grade three um, program for this year. Now we got the all subjects excluding math. So that includes geography, social studies, and uh, language arts. We got this primarily for the language arts for her, but if you are looking for a more in-depth review of this curriculum, then please go ahead and subscribe so that we can give that to you at a future date when we are done it. We chose the seven to nine for Alice just because this is her first year doing a language arts program other than like a phonics and reading program. We started with all about reading and we were looking for something for her to do after that and also she was very interested in reading classic literature and wanted a curriculum that was a little bit more independent so that's why we chose this curriculum like i said if you're looking for a more in-depth review please go ahead and subscribe and if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up i think that's everything else is going to go ahead and open the box for us we are here in Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, Canada. So we had this uh, shipped and it was very expensive to ship, of course, as is everything shipping up here. But uh, I think it turned out to be about just over 1,300 in the end for cost wise. Oh, I'm worried you're gonna stab me. <laughs> okay, we finally got the box open. We're ready <laughs> to get started here. Alice is going to check things out and then hand them to me and I will show you guys. Ooh. So first thing we pulled out here, wow, is this 4D human anatomy ear anatomy model. So that is really neat. So apparently we're going to be studying a bit about the ear in science, I imagine. <laughs> okay, we got this free shirt for ordering above a certain amount. So I just got it in Alice's size, but it actually looks really small. Will that fit you, do you think? I don't know. I got the smallest size possible. All right, now we've got an owl pellet identification chart. That's very cool. So that says it's in unit one, Poppy, lesson three, emergency meeting. Very cool, this is probably just a breakdown, yeah. Wow. A butterfly garden. Watch caterpillars change into butterflies. Oh, we've done this before, but that's pretty neat. And it has a little butterfly feeder. That's pretty cool. Keep them around. Very neat. I didn't know it was this this in depth. Ooh, okay. How the government, how the U.S. government works. Now, obviously, we're here in Canada, but we still really enjoy learning about the U.S. and government and history. Whoa, there's so many books. Okay. The Wump World. <laughs> Miss Rumpheus, maybe? That one? Let's see, there we go. Welcome to the Greenhouse. Who eats what? Now, we do sunlight curriculum, and I think some of these are like repeated. So I think there's some in our sunlight and some in, um, in this curriculum, but we just not get them when we get sunlight. Whereas this one didn't allow us the opportunity to like select the books we wanted and what we didn't. So what is a life cycle on the same day in March? These look like great little ones for her to read. They don't look too difficult. Punctuation celebration. Like there's still lots of picture books and stuff, which is really nice. Encounter. Adventure in the Middle Ages. Ooh, 60 American heroes every kid should meet. This reminds me of Heroes and what's it called? Heroes in History or something. There was like two volumes in Sunlight K. Uh, we really liked that. So yeah, this repeats some of the same people. So that will be a great review for her. Sochi and the Flowers. 
only knew that name because of the girl on Dancing with the Stars. Watch me still have botched it. I'm pretty sure I didn't. If you made a million. Oh, that must, is that for math? Yeah, it looks like that's a math book. So we still get the math books, I guess. That's pretty cool. Westlandia. A river ran wild. Wow, there's so many. The Shaman's Apprentice. This might be more than in sunlight. <laughs> a drop around the world. Oh, this is neat. The Kid's Book of Weather Forecasting. Do you want to check that one? Interesting. Okay. Voices in the Park. And a Starry Messenger so far. So that looks like the picture book sort of section. And then it looks like Alice has pulled out the novels here. Yes. I'm really excited to see these. I'm excited too. Do you want to show some? Yeah. Couple that I really like and some people I recognize. So the first one, Charlotte's Web, and I know this as a movie, so I'm actually excited to read this as a book. And I also think this one's pretty cool, this tornado, because uh, it, it's about a dog. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's about a dog, so I like it. Cool. I also, I also am just excited for all these novels. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting to, to learn to read for sure. So next we've got Morning Girl. This one. The Family Under the Bridge. Judy Bloom Iggy's House. Sorry about my light there. Ooh. Yeah. One day in the tropical Rainforest. I think this one will be pretty cool. Oh, also, it's a little bit like, uh, what's the guy, Mowgli? The Lion? Oh, uh, no, The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book. Yeah. The Whipping Boy. That was, <laughs> she would like to see her face. She's like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I think this is the first one you read. Poppy. What do you think? No, it's about a mouse. It's like Stuart Little. You loved Stuart Little when you were little. Cool. Oh, it looks like it's part of a series. Yeah. It looks like it's number three, so that's weird. Okay. I don't know about this one. But you don't know? No, this is going to be a good one. Who was Helen Keller? Boys will love that. <laughs> Their little brother loves turtles, and then we have an even smaller brother that will love that one. Ooh, and then we have all kinds of maps. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Maps, symbols, keys, and scales. Yeah. This one looks fun because we already had one of them in the series, I think. I wasn't sure if it was that exact one or not. But yeah, the time travel ones, they're pretty cute. I thought it was ancient Egypt, it wasn't? No, it was ancient Greece. Ancient Greece, that's right, in sunlight. Oh, that's awesome, that goes with it. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> this one, I don't know, but it looks like a history one. Yeah, it is. Alexander Graham Bell. Ooh, and this one looks pretty interesting. Oh, cool. One yeah, vote, out. two vote, I vote, and all about voting. Dr. Seuss. That's my baby. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. And Alice, go ahead. This is this is the book I was really reading. I mean, kind of looking forward to reading this tornado book. Yeah, it's the first one. Yeah, you guys missed it. She had the cutest reaction. She was like, oh. I get to read this one first. <laughs> I'm just so excited. So these are like the little unit studies. So it looks like it says concept one, unit one. So it looks like there may be more than one. I don't know how many concept books there are in the like each unit. But this is number one, and I, I think it links like you'll read Tornado as the novel, and then it links the other like books with it. So it'll incorporate science and social studies and you'll be reading the picture books as you go along or reading the novel. 
Um, so we won't show you all of these, but I do want to see if there's a unit one, like concept two book. Do you mind looking for that, Alice? And then, ooh, American Heroes is one. That looks cool. If there's any that stand out to you too, you can show. There we go. Okay, so unit one, concept two seems to be Morning Girl. So this would be the one we would do next. And it gives you a little overview on the back, it looks like. So see how it has the two groups there. We've got language arts, and then we've also got the science social studies. So I'm assuming you do those together. Yeah, oh yeah, there's the Charlotte's Web one. That comes in concept three. So yeah, we will take a look through these and, and have fun, but there's two big stacks of these unit books. There's another one in the box, or is there three? Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. A street through time. So it says a long, uh, 12,000 year journey along the same street. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huge book. I have to say, as a homeschool mom, for like storage reasons, I kind of hate the oversized books. Like I get that they're cute and nice to look at and, you know, maybe kind of cool for the kids, but like to store this in our cover, it's going to get racked, right? We're going to have to like, yeah, not, not so much a fan. Is there any more books in there? No. Okay. So it's, the rest are just units yeah. like we talked about. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions or anything that I can answer just about our first impression view here. Um, you can also, if you see this video a little later on, you can ask me how it's going or whatever in the comments. I'd be happy to let you know. Um, or obviously ask Alice's opinion because she's going to be the one <laughs> that's going to know how it's going for the most part. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.